there and this is Lindsay Upton the Quilt Quine with the Bonina L890 combination overlocker and cover stitch machine. So one of the exciting things that I've found that this machine can do is a two thread chain stitch used for basting. So I am a great one for attaching the quilts onto my long arm frame using zippered leaders which are pictured here and usually I baste them on with a big stitch from my domestic machine and of course you can rip that out quite easily afterwards but as you can see unless you sit down and pick all the threads out after a while they build up and make an awful mess so the chain stitch I think will make a really tidy job and unrip really nicely so I'm going to go and clean these leaders up get all the scruffy threads off and have a go well this very clever machine has told me what I need to do to set up a two thread chain stitch. We've got one thread in a needle and another thread in a looper. And I've picked all the nasty bits of thread off my quilt zip leader. And I'm going to stitch it on, which will act as a basting stitch. So here we go. Just following the red line that is on my um, zipper. What I notice straight away is that the machine is beautifully quiet and I don't have to go at top speed if I don't want to. So I've got a napkin here which is pretending to be a quilt back. Because for my demo I don't want a great big thing. end just go off and then I will remove it from the machine carefully because I want long tails I'll just snip them off now I will then sew on the bottom edge of my quilt in the same manner, then put it onto my quilt machine and quilt my quilt. When I've finished, I'll just unzip the leaders and then I will turn this over. And there is a little knack to this. It's like undoing a bag of hen food, I suppose. You've just got to find the little loop. So I'll just pull those yellow threads out. And I should very carefully be able to pull this gently and it comes off in one nice long thread. There we go. Instead of lots of little broken threads, how I used to do it before. And then I'll just turn it over and the yellow thread will also just pop off in one. And I think that's absolutely marvellous. The zipper leader has been left nice and clean with no yucky threads. And that was really straightforward. I'm very impressed.